Welcome to your daily video. I hope all of you are doing great today. I woke up with this feeling that you guys deserve better from the videos. So I don't know how I'm going to do that, but I'm going to just do better and really focus on giving you the good messages and making good content. So let's see. I had a lot going on. Um, a lot of issues with um, different things. <laughs> but uh, traveling to California, just a lot of movement. Um, but let's see what's coming up for Aries. I'd like to get uh, a message for Aries for today's energy. I did a, a reading that is more of like a general overview. Um, so let's see. Let's see what's coming in, Spirit. Ooh, tower card. The tower. <coughs> What's happening? All right. That's okay. I like a tower. I like a good tower. A good shakeup. <laughs> oh, confusion. Okay. Spirit and angels, show us what's coming in for Aries today. What do they need to see in the daily energy? Secrets, High Priestess. Suffering in silence sometimes. There's a magician. Somebody's arranging something. They've got plans. Three majors right off. Power and control of the emperor. Control. But somebody's trying to create an illusion. Six of air. In the past year, someone didn't want to communicate. And now you're looking at the value, the worth. Some of you also may have relocated or traveled over water. You could be living abroad like an expat. And you're looking at what you have in your savings account. You get the you will get truth, Ace of Swords, or maybe you have a new idea. You have a new idea. The root of the issue is you want to have control. Wow. Your energy is the judgment. The the renewed. You are you have a renewed situation. The judgment is the day of reckoning. What have you done? What have I done? There's powerful, overwhelming feelings here. The feelings are really, really strong. Uh, you're hoping for, you know, to have some good, happy times with others. Maybe you want to socialize. What's the outcome? Queen of Earth. Money, wealth, prosperity, pentacles, uh, value, worth, valuing uh, money and, you know, valuing your hard-earned cash. Oh, wow. There's a Nine of Swords affecting this energy. Something that is really upsetting or bothersome. So what is the judgment in Aries energy? Ten of Swords. Feeling like betrayed. Over a long period of time, Ten of Swords starts with one sword. It's progressive. So it progressively is painful. King of air. Somebody gives you the information. They tell you. What do they tell you? Justice. Okay. Libra. A king of water. Triggers. Moving on. Making, making a decision. 
somebody here is going to be moving out or they're saving their money to move out. And they could be telling you that. Past energy is six of air. Current energy or what's on your mind is how much can I afford? Going through a judgment. Okay, what is this queen of coin as the resulting energy? Somebody's moving on. Six of air. Six of air. Moving on. Queen of swords. Telling you being honest. Maybe a little cold. <coughs> Maybe you're doing that. What is the Aries energy is the judgment? High priestess following your intuition. It could be secrets. You could be making a judgment based on somebody's secrets. High priestess is the main overall energy. This could be something you've known as well. You're the high priestess. Chariot card. Going to move forward fast. Determined. Not looking back. King of Earth, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo is here, showing up. What's the magician? What's the illusion? The world. Okay, what else? The Four of Cups. Somebody doesn't really care very much. They're manipulating, but with the Four of Cups, it's like, I don't want that. What is the secret here? Three of Swords, Three of Wands. Focused on other things, their heart is broken. Focused on other things, and their heart is broken. That could be you as well. I mean, if your main overall energy is High Priestess and Judgment, you're following your intuition. Somebody is focused on other things. Hierophant. Doing something the right way. Could be marriage, institutions, um, proper, traditional, queen of water, or page of water and the world. Something is going full circle. The world is um, a great achievement. Ten of swords again. Something's ending that's painful. A nine of coin, independent energy, taking back your power or having an independent lifestyle. An emperor, Aries, owning your power, knowing who you are. Um, two of cups. Okay, we have a two of cups. So we have a partnership in your, you're in. An alliance, a friendship. We also have the hermit. What is the seven or what is the nine of swords? What is so stressful? A page of pentacles, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or a message that you get? And what is this queen of swords about? Somebody's telling you the truth about four of coin. They're holding back their energy. They're being cautious. Maybe they're saving and emotions are invested. They can't let go of something they're holding on. What is this? Five of Cups. There's a disappointment. Someone here rushes in with their words. They're exposing or shining the light on it. And there is something here of value that will be given to make something fair. Eight of Coins. Something's being looked into, investigated. Some of you are getting some really good news about maybe a lawsuit the, the emperor could be a, a judge because it looks like you've been suffering in silence. And you're going to go forward now. This could even be about a car or something like that. Um, but your energy as a result is the queen of the pentacles. The result is this, an earth element energy feminine, but it's also... Wealth, prosperity, patience, and caring for material things. 
it's also called <laughs> the Queen of the Gnomes. <laughs> and the gnomes are a, kind of like a hard-working sort of people or <laughs> gnomes are hard-working but also um, there's a matriarch here who's taking a risk exposing something to the light and the sun the world card could be long distance knight of water the Russian with information a king and queen of wands is here. Aries and Leo. Passionate couple. Fiery couple. Rushing in and out. Okay. Earth sign feminine is the outcome. What's affecting all of this is a lot of stress. This is like the str last straw. So with you and the judgment energy Aries, this could be you making a decision to not be played. Like, I'm not going to be played. I'm not going to, you know, um, the magician in the cross. So this magician is, macro is crossing uh, an illusion. A falseness, a cabal. A cabal is just a society of anybody who does something where they are secretive and lie. Or are secretive and... At, at the expense of somebody else. It doesn't matter what it is. Someone has something very important to tell you, but there is a door to value opening here and patience. So we have the fifth chakra. Throat chakra is being stimulated with cash or money. So throat chakra is like you feel somebody feels like they want to tell you something. Appreciation. A man here holding a cart. I almost said a cart. A man holding a cart? That's weird. Okay. The patience card. It's telling you to be patient. The magician. And the man holding a coin, but with hostilities. So somebody's giving you this benefit. Um, the challenge being an illusion. You end up as the queen of coin. Underlying energy is power. You get a new idea or you get the truth. It could be like something like the last straw. It could. The ace of swords and the ten. This is like the last straw. I don't know. I mean, <coughs> you want three of cups. Your intentions are really good. You're like, I want three of cups. You get an ace, which means the feelings for someone else are flowing over the cup. Flowing over the cup. Okay. Chariot. Going forward. Determined to go forward. Not looking back. You know. Ten of Rods. Reversed. Giving up. Quitting. Dropping the wands. Page of Swords reversed. Somebody said something kind of... They may even not say the Page of Swords reversed. The victory. The, making a public announcement. Letting everybody know. Nine of Rods reversed. Yeah, this person is quitting. Cut and run. Or you're cut, leaving water sign feminine. Three of Swords. Heartbreak. Judgment reversed. Somebody may feel judged unfairly. Or you may feel judged unfairly. Because the judgment is reversed. And we have Three of Swords. So heartbreak. How does this play out? This what the goal has not been achieved yet because somebody here wants to fight it out with you. Oh my goodness. Ooh. Something could be canceled as well. 
two, there's a lot of fighting going on, or somebody wants to get into a get into it, and six of air is showing up here as part of the reason somebody doesn't want to get into it. They don't. You don't want to talk to them. You don't. You don't care, or you just you don't want to fight with them. Four of Cups, you've rejected their offer or they've rejected yours. Four of Swords, they don't want to talk. Page of Wands reversed. Very impulsive, very reckless. Ten of Swords reversed. This has happened before. Three of Wands reversed. Waiting for it and then it doesn't arrive. Fool card living in the moment. Three of Coin committed to other people. The strength. Memories affect this king of air, air. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. The memories, the death, ending something. Okay, so show us what is Aries' final outcome. <laughs> Eight of Cups. Leaving it behind you, walking away. Somebody is mad at you. Or you're mad at them. But your energy is high priest. Look at this. High priestess, magician. High priestess, magician. High priestess, magician. <laughs> <laughs> High Priestess Magician with the Five of Swords. Somebody is like, I'm sick of your skills. I'm sick of your, I'm sick of what you're doing. I know what you're doing. Eight of Cups is your energy. Like, I'm leaving this behind. I'm sick of your games. I'm sick of your secrets, lies, games. But this, so these major energies are a part of it. It's for power and control. Um, somebody's quite mad. They even take it personally with the Five of Swords. They take it personal. Like you intended to hurt my feelings with this high priestess and magician. You messed with my head. You played, you played mind games. I hate mind games. Well, it's when the words don't match the behaviors. So when the words don't match... The behaviors. It's called catfishing somebody. Looking very closely into something. Investigating. There could be an investigation with the uh, magnified. Something's being magnified about money. We also have the four-leaf clover. There's luck here. Let's see. Cutting something away. Staying calm. the house. This could be about a house or a property. Sun card and money. Okay, so there is a fish. So the fish represent money. Money multiplying. And we have the sun. That's positive. So for you as the viewer, I feel like what it is, is if you've manifested something really good, you've manifested to be a queen of the earth, pentacles. The, there is something that is a last straw, or you get a new idea, something painful ends, you're resurrecting something new, you want other people involved. Maybe you want a team or a group of employees, maybe you want to hire people, magician, high priestess. High Priestess is the knower of the unseen, the spiritual, mystic, or medium, psychic medium. The magician is the person who uses what they've got and their ideas to create an illusion. So we've got a, magi a magician and High Priestess. So High Priestess connects to the spirit realm as a psychic medium. The magician connects to things to create, manifest, make, make things happen as they appear or an illusion. I think here with your connection to High Priestess, this is much better. It's playing out better for you. You're connected to God. You are connected to God with the judgment. Major blessings, um, good karma, things happening to you for, you know, God's judgment on your life is a good one. Um, so I'm going to leave it here. Thank you, Aries, and I'll see you next time.